Let's continue our TDD journey and what is the test that we would write next for which feature? We think about the feature as product list next probably and the first thing that we would test is that product list page loads at all and if there are no products it shows empty table with text no products found. Similarly to what we've done in the original project I've opened that separately in Sublime so something like this get products assert status to 100 and assert C. In fact, let's copy exactly that to save time to product test. So first, again, we write test. The functionality doesn't exist yet at all. And in this case, we don't have users yet. So we're acting as user. For now, let's simplify that, that we don't have users yet, but we have user as a factory. So we imagine that we have factory for users, which we actually do inside of default Laravel. So that would work. So we're acting as users, we get products and we assert C. Currently our test would fail for a few reasons and we would fix those reasons one by one. So if we launch our PHP artisan test with filter now, we have one failed test, failed asserting that contains no products found. So actually this works well without any errors. So it does get the URL because the URL already exists, the route already exists. It actually returns 200 but it doesn't contain no products found. So it actually returns empty string here. And now let's fix that to return the HTML. So we get to our routes web, we see the controller, the method already prepared. That method just doesn't contain anything. And then we write the feature, we write the code that would make our test pass. And if we want to be consistent in our TDD step-by-step -step effort, first we need to create a page without any data because we don't have products yet. No models, no migrations, no nothing. First, we're testing for no products found text. So we return the view of index. I've prepared that in the background with empty text of no products found. So there's no data about products at all yet. It's just the blade with static text. So if we open that in the browser, here's how it looks. This is probably the first time that I've shown the browser in this section of the course about TDD and I've registered behind the scenes with Laravel Breeze. So this is our blade, which we launch from the controller here. And let's try to relaunch our test. PHP Artisan test with filter and it is green. Okay, so our test pass. Next, we actually need to test if the home page contains non-empty table, if there is some data. And if we again get back to the original non-TDD test suite, this is what we'll try to replicate. Again, let's try to copy paste that and imagine that we need to test that the homepage contains non-empty table if we have the product. By writing that, we realize that we need the product structure. So that test would fail without even launching the actual test. It would throw an error that this product doesn't exist. And in fact, let's launch the test to show exactly that. It would fail with test feature product not found. So product model doesn't exist. So what do we do? PHP Artisan make model product with migration and probably with factory because we will need factory in the tests. So again, TDD cycle, you write test, you see the failure, then you build the functionality to avoid that failure and fix that. Make model product with migration. Next, again, if we're strict on TDD, now let's add the product here as a model with use here on top, use product. And now we should still get a failed test, but with different error. Different error should be add name to fillable property to allow mass assignment. So we're trying to create a product with name and price, but we don't have any structure in the database and those fields don't exist. So now we fill in the migration and the fillable in the eloquent model. And I've done exactly that. The migration contains those two fields. The product contains them as fillable. If I launch that test now, it would fail because the database table doesn't exist, the product, because we haven't run the migration. And here we get to very important part and very important notice. As soon as you get to migrations, you need to make sure that you're working on the testing database. So if you add refresh database here in the test, to make the migrations run automatically, you enable use refresh database, which is already here on top in the use section. But now I need to make sure that I'm not launching that on live database because it would wipe out all the data. So then I go to PHP unit XML 
and uncomment the DB connection and DB database to launch that in SQLite in memory. This is my choice. You can create a separate MySQL database for that with separate connection, but for simple projects without any specific MySQL functionality, SQLite is totally fine. And now our test should try to launch the migrations and then we would have that model and probably the error should lead here instead. We launch the test again and undefined property user. So this line is in question and product create is actually successful. So of course, by copying that from the other test, I didn't provide any user and let's create the user here. And for now we don't have any admins or anything. So let's just use the factory again. And let's separate again, I was trying to do that, separate the arrange, act and assert. So arrange is this data, this is act, and these are asserts. Okay, so by this point, we have a product, we have a user, we log in, and we don't see no products found, and probably this line will be the next error to fix. Launch the test, and the error is, does not contain no products found, because it does contain no products found, because in our blade, we don't have that data. Remember, I've hard-coded everything, there's no for each of the products which is exactly the next thing that we need to fix. In the index of the controller, we get products here. And by this point, we do have a model and we can pass it in the view by using compact, for example. And in here in the index blade, I will use for each or for else loop in the body to show the products. And this is my index blade updated behind the scenes again to save you time. So this is for else with just name and price. For now, we don't have any buttons to edit, delete, or add anything. We're focusing only on that functionality to make sure that it works. And now if we relaunch our test, is it green? Yes, it is green. So we have achieved the next milestone, making sure that the next test is successful. And also by writing more tests, we still run the older tests. So we make sure that our new functionality that we create does not break the old tests. And this is one of the main benefit in general in testing to make sure that the older features don't break. So by now you're starting to get the idea of TDD, write test, get the error, fix that error with building the functionality, then go to the next error and go through that cycle until certain current test is green.